Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's Insurance, where you can sign up for the Shannon's Club and Penrite Oil, offering technical assistance seven days a week. Hello and welcome to another interesting episode of Classic Restos. Major sponsors, they are important. Classic Restos proudly brought to you by Shannon's Insurance and Penrite Oil. Yeah, I know I bang on about Shannon's Insurance, but they're the best for us as enthusiasts. Why not pick up the phone and give Shannon's a call for a quote on 134646. They offer us just so much more. If you've got a classic bike, classic car, truck, home and contents, why not bundle it all together and put it with Shannon's. There's also an opportunity for you to sign up to become a member of the Shannon's Club. Find out more when you visit Shannon's at shannons.com.au. The Shannon's Club, where it truly is your garage. Here we have the trusty 318 Fireball Chrysler V8. Can it take Penrite oil and coolants? You betcha it can. Now Penrite's been established since 1926. It's Australian made and Australian owned, which is starting to become pretty rare these days in itself. The Penrite technical assistance team is also there to help us seven days a week. To find out more, visit Penrite online at penriteoil.com.au. And in the meantime, oil right. Use Penrite, simply a better class. Of oil. And on today's show, it's a return to Corio, just north of Geelong in Victoria, Australia, for a little event that packs a big punch. Welcome to the 19th annual Chryslers by the Bay. Now, it's not every day you can turn up to a Chrysler event, reason being because they're a little bit harder to find. And why? Well, there's less of them as opposed to other marks, which makes a Mopar event extra special. The Bay City Chryslers Geelong are responsible for this event, and although it's a smaller show, it is growing each year in numbers, and that is great news for their charity, Cottage by the Sea at Queenscliff. Now one lovely aspect about every episode of Classic Restos is that everyone remembers a car that they grew up with, and the mighty Valiant here in Australia is no exception. Chrysler's by the Bay welcomes anything Mopar, made either here in Australia or in the United States. The Mopar family comprised Dodge, Chrysler, Plymouth, DeSoto, Imperial, Jeeps and even Fargo. Oh, so now it's time for the piece you've been waiting for. It's time to catch up with some of the Mopars and their owners up front, close and personal. Time for Mick now. Hello Mick. How are you going there, Fletch? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, very good, mate. Pleased to be here. Good, mate. You um, you brought along a new car for us oh, to show. A brand new 22 Dodge Buckboard Yurt, yep. Yeah, all original. And uh, it's a great vehicle. How amazing is this? What, what The first thing that springs to mind with something like this is, I want to know its history. Like, where did it live? Who owned it? Well, it was sold out of, Port, out of Adelaide and uh, went from Adelaide to Port Augusta and as, a, as a touring car and then it got converted into a buckboard ute many years later on a farm as, as a fencing ute, you know, on the farm. And as you can see by the look of it, it's been like that for many, many years. And then uh, I bought it out of a unique car magazine when it was advertised and as soon as I seen it, I fell in love with it straight away and jumped on it, you know. Does the old truck still drive okay? Oh, it goes well. I drive it all over the place and I, I, I just love being in it and it's, it's a good buzz driving around in it for that, you know. Kind of dressed in theme too. You've yeah, got yeah. the check shirt on, you've got the... Yeah, yeah. yeah. All the bits and pieces, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I love it, mate, yeah. Uh, good stuff. You good haven't stuff. had a set of retractable seat belts fitted or anything? No, 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 no seat belts, no, no, no. I guess it's the sort of vehicle where if things get a bit hairy, you could almost just jump out of it. Oh, that's correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't go that too fast. I get too nervous, you know. Tell us about the drive line. How many gears has it got? Uh, three speed, three speed gears, and uh, yeah, crunch box. You know, you got to double the clutch a bit and get her in gear. But she, yeah. she cruises along good. Engine wise, what size are we looking at there? Uh, three and a half litre, four cylinder. And that's pretty big, isn't it? I mean, that's an uh, interesting thing about these old engines, uh, when we go back to 20s and 30s, they were, they were low compression and they had very small lobes on the camshaft that's and they didn't make that much power, but they had huge capacities, didn't yeah. they? Very torquey engine, big mm. flywheel and a lot of torque there, you know. Mm. You can go around the corner and top you and uphill and top you and they just keep pulling like a tractor, you know. They're yeah. really, really strong, you know, strong car. Mick, I've got to admire the panel beating that uh, used to get done back in the day. I mean, if one of the guards, you know, had a split in it, they just run some weld there. Here over on the passenger side, we've got a square plate that's just been held there with a couple of rivets, obviously, you know, covering a bit of damage back in the time. That's right. Yeah, a bit of, a bit of blacksmith work, as you can probably say, you know, the 
good old panel beaters in their day. You, there's no bog in the old gill. There's rivets and tin, you know. Absolutely, and there's a f bit of air there, here and yeah. there too. A few, oh. few air gaps, isn't yeah. there, Mick? Oh, yeah, a little bit of water run through yeah. here and there. And yeah, a bit it's of got mud. its own ventilation system on the outside, doesn't it? That's yeah. correct, that's correct, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Talk about double overhead underhang. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. <laughs> I think it's uh, incredible uh, when we look around the vehicle in its entirety, everything's here. On the top of the radiator too, the, the gorgeous emblem's still there. Yeah. An inside shot of the Dodge Brothers plaque up on the dash there and yeah. it's just uh, it is a moving time capsule yeah, it is it is it is mate it is correct that's correct yeah no. well mick thanks for being on today's show yep yep i really appreciate you spending the time with me fletch it was good very good that's, right. that's my pleasure yeah yep no worries and i'll look forward to seeing you on the show sometime down the track good on you mate and blokes like mick helped to make the 19th annual crisis by the bay event uh what it is here north of geelong in victoria thanks again mate thanks Fletch. all the best have a good day Moving through, we have Paul Allwood, the president of Bay City Chrysler Club. How are you, Paul? Very well, thanks, Fletch. You? Good, mate. Good. Now, we're going to have a chat to you a little bit later on about the club, but first things first. Now, you've got a 1969 Fargo. Tell us the deal on this van. How how cool is this? Yeah, no, it's uh, it's pretty cool. We've um, we've had it in the country, I think, uh, probably just over 12 months now. So, um, actually bought it out of a, a coffee shop. Uh, so, it was actually uh, just on sale in, in the States. And, yeah, we, we hooked into that and... Um, Liked it so much when it got here, all those stickers are staying on it. So How cool is that Cafe Aroma, Fenton, Michigan, not far from Detroit. Obviously you can see that region with a Fletch Tour, bear that one in mind as well. Now, Paul, this van here is just so original. It's even got its factory rust. <laughs> yeah, look, that's the uh, the next thing we'll be doing. At the minute, she's a cruiser, so um, we're just doing some miles in it, and then we'll uh, we'll pull it off the road and sort that out. Yeah, you might be left with a bit of car when you do that. Oh, I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. No guarantees, though. Now, Paul, uh, registered as an eight-seater? Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, so, uh, yeah, it uh, carries all the family and uh, and a bit more, so it's always good. If you're watching the show and you, you've got a big family, you've got to agree with this. Look how open it is inside. You're not stepping over anything. I mean, it's just so so big and open plan, isn't it? Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. So, um, all the mates, all the, all the kids, everyone fits, so it's great. I just think it's so cool that you've got this Fargo, uh, a van, an eight-seater, original. It's still got its original graphics on it, as we just alluded to. Uh, what power is it, Paul? Uh, it's a 318. So How cool is that? And it's a V8 as well. We say, as we say no more. Yeah, well, look, they talk about the combis and all that sort of stuff, but... Um you know, they're half the size and wouldn't see which way this thing went, so... <laughs> you, got, you got an old girl that could sit on 80 miles an hour if you wanted it to. <laughs> no worries at all. <laughs> Not that I do that, of course. Oh, no, no. Just club days at track events, absolutely. <laughs> Paul, great catching up there. We'll be talking to you soon in today's episode of Classic Rest Days. Thank you, Paul. Lovely. Thanks, Fletch. <laughs> When it comes time for the best in classic vehicle home and contents insurance, you cannot go past Shannon's. Why not pick up the phone and give Shannon's a call for a quote on 134646. And why not talk to Shannon's about a bundle package to suit your requirements. Also, there's an opportunity for you to sign up to become a member of the Shannon's Club. See more when you visit shannons.com.au. Penrite Oil too is the best in the business and it's easy to see why. They've been established since 1926 and they have stood the test of time. The Penrite Technical Assistance team is there to help us seven days a week. See more when you visit Penrite online at penriteoil.com.au. You're watching the 19th annual Chrysler's by the Bay and you're seeing it first on Classic Restos. Back with more after this. Moving through, have Dave here at the 19th annual Chrysler's by the Bay. How good is this? If you like your Mopars, what a top little event this is. How are you, Dave? Not bad, Fletch. Yourself? Good, good, good. You know what? When it comes to cars where I lose words for, this is the one. I, This is beyond. When I think of a car that's got all the exuberance under the sun, fins from 1960, and not only is it a turnpike cruiser with some luxury going on here, it's also a muscle car as well. Gorgeous job, Dave. Oh, thanks, mate. Tell us the rundown, uh, how long you've had it, what was the, the build time? 
Well, we've probably had it for about four years now. Brought it in from the States. Um, obviously needed full resto. This is in the lucky department. I mean, you look at the uh, lucky department, you look that up and there'll be a picture of one of these cars because these are the cars that are really getting hard to find, aren't they? Um, to be able to get one like you have and restore it is just a, a major feat as well. Now, we talk about a muscle car as well. We have the 413 up front with that legendary cross ram induction. I reckon that's going to got to go down as one of the coolest induction systems on a factory car. Cross ram on a 413 with two four barrel carbs, one either side of the rocker cover. How cool is that? Oh, it was brilliant. And look, I was always after a sort of a hemi car, believe it or not, but, um, and I've done a bit of research on all these, and um, as soon as I read up on these, I go, gee, I've got to have the F, yeah. and uh, more powerful than the, uh, yeah. the, the hemi in those days, and yeah. um, to have a look at it, it just looks magnificent. It's probably just one of those cases where it slips under the radar where, in this case, Hemi isn't be-all, end-all. I mean, there's some other mighty fine equivalents, uh, matched era for 1960 for sure. The inside, the interior, the opulent seats there, I love the, the four separate buckets. That's just a cool thing. Yeah, very very unique. I love the, um, the console which runs right to the back. Um, the front seats swivel in and out, so you can actually, you know, for us old guys, yeah, yeah. and hop in. Well, not only that, but you know, a bloke maybe got a bit of a bit of a sump on him. He can't yeah, get out. Yeah, you, yeah. you swivel your seat and point him towards the door, and out he falls. <laughs> it's out he gets. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, but those four seats, though, they they carried that through 1966 into the Charger. They they stuck yeah, with that philosophy. Up to 66, exactly yeah. right. Then the 67s, oh, 67s the same model, but yeah, 68. They just went back yeah. to the. Uh, it's also got a it's got a killer dashboard too. I mean, every, everywhere you look is just so good. Oh, look, I don't know. The, the design of these things are just unbelievable. They went aeronautical in one sense and, you know, automotive in another and just combined it. Well, in 1960, the fight was on to see who was going to reach the moon first. I mean, that was a, that was a big thing. There was uh, so many. It was the Thunderbird era. Uh, rocket inspiration in their designs. Uh, and that's where this is from. Um, Dave, we could talk all day. Great catching up here. Love your car. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Fletch. Moving through the 19th annual Chrysler's by the Bay, thanks to the Bay City Chrysler Club, we now have Tani. How are you, Tani? I'm good, thank you, Fletch. How are you? Good, thank you. Good. This is really cool. We've got some girl power going on here. We've got a beautiful CM 1979 model. That's the one. You know what I love about this car? No one has got a hold of it. No one's drilled holes in it. They haven't buggered around with it. Um, nice ladies come up and bought this fairly, well, this very standard type of car. I think what's cool too is it's the sort of car that once upon a time was a very standard car on the road that people would look at and just watch it go by. These cars are coming in, into their own now. They're, they're almost in vogue. And when you see one in this condition, it really is a standout car. Yeah, well, I won't let anyone touch it. It's my car. It's going to stay original. Now, you've got some factory tears there in the driver's seat. I mean, you know, you've got to look hard to find some faults here. It is so good, this CM. Bless its heart. It really uh, has stood the test of time. So does the seat annoy you? doesn't annoy me. I usually put a towel down. Yeah. doesn't There's worry me. There's nothing like having a bit of extra ventilation in your driver's seat <laughs> anyway. There's no problems with that. Now, what colour is it, Tony? Uh, I think it's a cashmere beige. I think that, yeah. that's what it's come out as, factory colour. The original interior is in very good condition. It's beautiful. Yeah. Aside from the driver's seat, yes. <laughs> <laughs> when a car is so good, it's easy to pick a fault. Not that there's many here, goodness me. Now, under the bonnet, we've got a 245, got the 4-litre, column auto. That's cool as well. That's been left alone. That has. Nothing's been touched under the engine. Just haven't touched it at all. That's amazing. It really is, and uh, to think that these cars were finished in 1981, uh, Chrysler were ahead of their time in so many ways, to the point where they even went broke first. So, <laughs> Tani, you're part of a car club. Tell us about that. I'm part of the Central Victorian Chrysler Club, and we hold a show every year, which is the Mid-State Mopars, yes. held on the Queen's Birthday weekend. I have been to that event a few times. It is awesome. Got a website for your club? Uh, yes, it's midstatemopars.com. <laughs> Thank you for sharing this with us. 1979 CM Valiant, Aussie made. Here it is. Great having it on the show. Thank you very much, Tony. Not a problem, Fletch. It's the show now about Cheryl. Hello, Cheryl. How are you? How are you, how are you Fletch? I'm, I'm really well. Yourself? I'm very good, That's thank good. you. You're having a ball here today? Yes, as usual. You're here with yes. your club? Yes, the Aranus Valiant Club. How cool are these people? Very cool. 
yes. you can contact these people through the Shannons Club. And while you're there, there's a whole stack of other car clubs as well. Now, you're out with the club, you're having a good time, you've yeah. got this car, you started this project with your husband. Tell us the story. Uh, we brought the car in the late 1990s and we worked on it for about three years and then had it on the road about 2001. Tell us what it is. I see the Suburban there on the on the yes. plaque on the side. I believe it's American or Canadian. I'm not quite sure on that. And uh, what year is it, Sharon? 1960. Wow, 1960 Suburban. Uh, yes, the, the very first shape, Valiant, here in yeah. Australia. Very, very cool in a wagon. I yes. mean, I think you've got a bit of a score here. Oh, I hope so. It's a lovely car. What was the condition like when you and your husband first acquired um, it? Putting it nicely, a bit rough. Yeah. It had needed a lot of work done to it, yeah, so... So there was lots of inspiration for a restoration? Yeah, right up my husband's alley. The engine up front, can you tell us what size that it's is? It's a 170 engine, I believe it's um, the original, not the original, but it's still the 170 what yeah. they came out with. Yeah. And that's how we've kept it original. That is interesting because we got the 225 cubic inch slant six here in Australia, but they actually yes. made three. They did a 170, a 198 and the 225. In Australia mm -hmm. market, we got the 225. Yes. Yes. So you've got the 170. Even Well, there you go. Even that in itself is rare. Yeah, it's very rare and it goes all right. Cheryl, on any, I think it's lovely that you're carrying on the tradition yeah. that uh, you and your husband started with this car yes. and that the fact that you're still hanging on to it and you're, you're driving it, you're enjoying it. Yep. Need we say more? It's what it's all about. It most definitely is and I thoroughly enjoy it too. Right. So, Thanks for turning up here today, Thank Cheryl. Thank you very much, Fletch. The opulence and stance of classic American iron. You may want to see more. You may want to consider a Fletch tour. Have a look at this. You deserve a Fletch tour. See the amazing Ford, GM and Chrysler Nationals at Carlisle events along with museums and private collections in beautiful Pennsylvania, USA. Then it's the Motown city of Detroit and its region taking in more die-hard stuff with incredible history. Rounding off with the Woodward Dream Cruise, the largest moving car cruise in the world. The best part of coming here actually was having Fletch here. We get picked up, we get dropped off. Fletch is a wonderful tour guide. I would just recommend a Fletch tour to anybody. Go to classicrestos.com.au and click on the Fletch Tours icon for more information. Hope you're enjoying today's show. Back with more after this. Time for Laurie. Hello, Laurie. Hello, Fletch. How are you, mate? Good. Have you driven far today? From Broadmeadows. Yeah, how far is that? Probably about half an hour drive, yeah. 45 minutes. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you've done it in style, a 1964, an AP6. What a beautiful car. Thank you very much, Fletch. It really stands out in the paddock here. Yes. Uh, well, I've been coming here for five years, and so I was trying to find you, yeah. trying to catch you along. But You're trying yeah. to find me. Yeah. He was trying to find yep. me. That, that's lovely. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Now, you're watching the show. If you've been to this event and you don't see your car no. on this episode, don't be offended no. because it, boy, oh, boy, uh, the cars here yes. today, the quality of the cars, yes. it's eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I mean, there's just so many. That's right. It's so beautiful cars and a lot of people spend a lot of money on the cars too. Absolutely. Now, speaking yes. of which, your car has had the full resto, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So what was it like when you got it and... Uh, Tell us, what you, tell us what you've done to it. car was yellow with the vinyl roof. Oh, yellow, probably painted with a, yeah. with a brush. Yeah. Um, when I got it, it cost me $500 when I got it. I fully stripped it, paint stripped it, and back to bare metal, top to bottom. And um, from there, cut all the rust out, and that's it. I enjoyed it. My three brothers got one, all one each. We did it two as a group. Family, it's the family get together. And that's it. Laurie, beautiful car, the AP6. I mean, it was the premier of the Holden. Right. It was the Fairmont of the Falcon. Yep. But back in a time where it was probably the most, well, luxurious car on the Australian market back in 1964, yep. uh, the interior is absolutely beautiful. Um, you've really, you've done a fantastic job on that. Okay. What powers it up front? Well, just a normal stock 225 yep. with a two-barrel carbine with instructors. That's you know, the, what it is. the old Slant 6, you know, is the most universal six-cylinder engine ever made. Yeah. They put it into tanks or yes. mil military, uh, marine, farming and agriculture. The list goes on and on and on. Just such a universal engine. Yep, that's right. Even buses too, I heard, and trucks. <laughs> so... Yeah, the list yeah, goes on. Yeah. So, Laurie, you've gone through the resto. Yeah. You've got your 1964. 
AP car. How do you find it to drive? Do you I love, love it? it. Yeah. I love it. Especially when it's on the freeway, fantastic. Yeah. I just enjoy driving. It's cool too with the, the white, with the contrasting, yeah. the, the black vinyl yeah. roof. I had one when I was 18, right? Then I want to build exactly the same yeah. when I was 18. Yeah. So that's what I've got. I achieved it. Yeah. Laurie, thanks for turning up today. Thank you very much. To the Finish. paddock here for the 19th, for the 19th annual crisis by Thank the you. bay, mate. Thank you very much, Thank buddy. Thank you very much. Thank you. With me now, club president of the Bay City Car Club, we have Paul Allwood. How are you, Paul? Oh, a bit tired now, Fletch, but yeah. it's been a good show. You've done it again. What a great turnout. Yeah, no, um, yeah, good turnout. So we estimate somewhere between, you now somewhere around about 260 cars. So, yeah. What type of vehicles can we expect to see here today? I know, not just Mopars, I know, but <laughs> across the board, what are we looking for? Oh, we've had everything from, um, you know, 1920s cars uh, right through to 2012 um, challenges uh, from the States. Yep. So we've had everything in between. Paul Crisis by the Bay, lovely location here. The grounds are absolutely awesome. Manicured lawn. Couldn't ask for a nicer spot for a big park up. Oh, look, I think this is probably uh, one of the best grounds in Australia for any car show, and I'd be uh, I'd be happy for anyone to challenge me on that one. So uh, we're very lucky to have the support of the Geelong Grammar School. Um, obviously, the Cottage by the Sea, uh, which is our major um, benefactor of the show, is uh, also one of the pet um, beneficiaries, I guess, of the Geelong Grammar. So that's Proceeds of the day off to Cottage by the Sea. Give us a quick rundown on Cottage by the Sea and as to how important this charity is. Um, look, it's, it's a charity that, um, that supports uh, children from troubled homes, I guess. So they have groups of kids come down. They're uh, based down in Queenscliff. Um, and, yeah, look, it's a fantastic, uh, fantastic organisation that does a wonderful job um, supporting, you know, kids that are, um, you know, probably not quite so fortunate as others. So they're able to get away to the sea and uh, the seaside and, and uh, get looked after quite well. So I keep on saying what I love about car shows, proceeds off to these fantastic causes. Cottage by the Sea at Queenscliff. If you want to make a donation, by all means, go right ahead there to Cottage by the Sea. And you guys too, uh, the Bay City Chrysler Club, are uh, contactable through the Shannon's Club club as well along along with a lot of other car clubs too yeah absolutely yep i uh, also got a facebook page as well for those that are more technologically savvy than i <laughs> <laughs> good on you paul you've done it again mate thank you so much and uh, for having classic restos back it's been a few years and um, yeah i've uh, had a great day here mate thank you beautiful thank you very much for your time fletch well there you go there's just some of the 19th annual chryslers by the bay and i'm sure you'll agree that paul allwood and his team at the bay city chrysler club have done a wonderful job in bringing it all together in the meantime classicrestos.com.au is the website that you need for the DVD box sets of the show, Classic Restos merchandise, contact information on joining us on a Fletch tour and of course the major sponsors as well. As I say at the end of every show, until next week, no matter where you're watching from, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch and I thank you very much for watching. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Classic Restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's Insurance, where you can sign up for the Shannon's Club and Penrite Oil, offering technical assistance seven days a week.